So the recently reported study by Eli Lilly on solanezumab actually did not meet its primary endpoint, so it was a failure as a uh, therapeutic trial. Solanezumab was an antibody designed to attack the building blocks of amyloid plaques in the brain. We also have other studies at Mayo looking at people who have mild memory problems, and these antibodies, like aducanumab, are actually attacking the fully developed plaque itself. And early data have indicated that the antibody is effective at removing the amyloid plaques from the brain. So while the solanezumab trial was unsuccessful, we're still attacking this amyloid hypothesis. So the question comes up, is amyloid still a viable target in Alzheimer's disease? And I think the answer is yes. So the solanezumab trial may have failed for one, two, or more reasons, but one being that we're still attacking the disease too late in the process. So we're attacking it when some plaques are already in the brain, and that may be too late. The analogy being we're starting to use cholesterol-lowering drugs when someone has a heart attack. That may be too late. Now, it still may be useful at that stage, but it probably would have been better to use it years earlier to try to prevent the heart attack. So the question still remains on the table that if we stop this amyloid process from developing, that is, we actually stop the building blocks earlier in the disease process, the drug might be effective. So that is still a viable hypothesis. While this drug trial was disappointing, we still are doing other anti-amyloid drug treatments at the Mayo Clinic. So we're involved in a study called A4, which is an interesting prevention type of study insofar as we're enrolling people who are clinically normal but still have the amyloid protein in the brain. But we're also pursuing other targets. So for example, the tau protein. If you look at Alzheimer's disease, it's a plaque and tangle disease. The plaques are made of the protein amyloid, and the tangles are made of the protein tau. So we are now pursuing some drugs that are focused on tau. And we're looking at other mechanisms as well, such as intranasal insulin, to try to get insulin into the brain more effectively, since it influences glucose utilization in the brain. So there are a variety of studies here at Mayo and around the country that are attacking various targets aimed at Alzheimer's disease.